This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, January 18th, 2016. Euro dollar. So it's more wait and see for the euro, which continues to consolidate, though the recent break that we saw below the 108 area does suggest that the market is poised for a resumption of declines within the broader downtrend back below the recent 107.11 low and towards the December base at 105.21. At this point, look for any rallies to be well capped ahead of 110, while ultimately only back above this anticipated lower top at 110.60 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook for the euro. Sterling dollar. So cable continues with its decline, collapsing down to fresh multi-year lows, the lowest levels that we've seen since May 2010, with the market trading just shy of the 42.30 May 2010 low, um, and, and now looking potentially for a bit of a bounce. At this point, though, daily studies are extremely oversold, and this does lend support to the idea that the market could see a bit more of a correction before we see any additional declines. At this point, though, a break back above the high that we saw on Friday, which comes in at 144.20. 27 would be required to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Until then, there is risk for additional weakness below 142.30. Dollar yen. So dollar yen is consolidating just off recent lows and ahead of that critical August base, which comes in at 116.30. At this point, deeper setbacks are favored towards 116.30 and below, while ultimately only back above 118.84. That high going back to the the 8th of January would compromise or take the immediate pressure off the downside. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss is st f slowly showing signs of potentially trading higher following a period of multi-day, multi-week consolidation, which saw a contraction in volatility. The latest breakout in the previous week to the top side opens the door and suggests the possibility of a break above the critical September 110.50 peak, which would open the next major upside extension towards the 115 area further up. At this point, setbacks should continue to be very well supported on dips, with only a break back below 107.15 to compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is now broken down to a near seven year low after trading to on, on Friday to 68.27. At this point, the market is seeing a bit of a bounce to allow for these stretched shorter term studies to unwind, though the downside pressure remains intact and there's risk for additional declines while the market holds below recent highs that we saw around the 70.50 area. Only back above 70.50 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. This latest break to fresh seven year or near seven year lows does open the door potentially for a longer term downside downside extension exposing the 2008 base all the way down towards the 60 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has continued with its relentless push higher as the market goes parabolic, trading up to fresh plus 12 year highs and getting close to near 13 highs, trading up to 146.07 in early Monday trade. At this point, the market is due for a correction, but would need to see a break back below the low from Friday, which comes in at 143.43 to take the immediate pressure off the downside and trigger said correction. Any setbacks are expected to now be very well supported by pre previous resistance in the 138 to 140 area, while ultimately only back below the 134.57 area that previous peak from September would take the immediate pressure off the, down, off the top side. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is traded down to fresh multi-month lows or fresh three and a half month lows after taking out key support at 64.29. At this point, this opens the door for deeper setbacks in the weeks ahead towards a retest of the critical August base, which comes in at 61.30. Any rally should be very well capped towards the 67 area, while ultimately only back above 69 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to trade to fresh multi-day lows and is closing in on a retest of the critical August base at 1834. At this point, any rally should continue to be very well capped below previous support and outturn resistance in the 1993 area, while ultimately only a close back above 2000 would take the pressure off the downside. Gold. So gold continues to show the formation of the potential for a meaningful base off those recent lows that we saw in 2015 at 1046. At this point, look for any setbacks to be well supported above 1070 on a close basis, with fresh upside seen on a break back above the recent highs at around the 1112 area, opening the next upside extension towards the 1200 area in the weeks ahead. At this point, again, any setbacks should continue to be very well supported above 1070, while only a break back below that level would compromise the recovery outlook look and the potential for a shift in the structure, putting the focus back on the downside at 1046, below which exposes critical psychological barriers at 1000 further down.